My full name is Michael Beach. <laughs> <laughs> I am an actor. <laughs> I started acting in 1980, I believe. 80 or 81, I can't remember exactly. I started in the theater. I trained in the theater. Um, never really expected to do film or TV. I just expected you know, I would do theater. Well, I thought I felt like I was born to act the first time I was on stage. Actually, it was before I was on stage. It was in the rehearsal process. You know, it was just something that uh, I, I was an ex-athlete that got hurt and it was severe and um, I didn't know what else to do but then when somebody had asked me to be to do a, do a play because I had done some announcements and they thought wow you're really easy and, and, and you fill the stage you know so come do this play and I thought ah whatever that's not for me but then when in the rehearsal process oh actually the first play I ever did was a play called um, The Diary of Anne Frank about, <laughs> you know, the, uh, um, the Jewish family hiding out during uh, Nazi Germany and during the concentration camps and all that stuff, which was an odd play for a young black kid to be in, but um, they really thought I would, I would be good. It was my last year of high school. And uh, I just fell in love with the process of figuring out what characters are about and relationships and how they relate to the story. And, and I, that was it. Bam. I'm not really like a famous guy, you know, where it's just like, oh my God, you know, I'm kind of, I consider myself a journeyman actor who, you know, uh, you see him here, you see him there, you see him in this and see him in that. And, and that, that's what I want to continue you know I don't want to have some super high thing where you know you're big and known for one thing and then you kind of disappear and so then the rest of your career is about trying to fight to get somewhere that you were before as opposed to a guy who just um, you know, I'm just an actor and, um, and I don't mean just in a, a pejorative term but I mean that's what I do and that's what um, I want to do for the rest of my life and that's what's important to me it's not about you know trying to be famous or trying to be you know loved or whatever <laughs> you know I just want to I just want to act you know it's what I do it's what I do for a living and it, so it is work but it's how I pay my bills how I support my family but um, I, I had no intention of making money when I started doing it, I just thought, oh, I'm going to be a theater actor. You know, I'm going to get to be on stage. And I love the process of what I did. So that, that's really why I started doing it. And that's why I continue to do it. And the, the fact that I can make money at it is just like this added fantastic bonus. You know, I'm inspired by a lot of people, um, you know, some actors that just really blow me away are like Meryl Streep and Gary Oldman and uh, you know a guy that really just blew my mind when I first discovered him was Marlon Brando <coughs> from his uh, earlier works and um, you know I just uh, I just like good acting <laughs> good storytelling I have five children the the idea of People being role models, I think. Uh, like, I don't. I don't think I owe anything to anyone outside of my family, um, except for, you know, respect. Just genuine human respect. Um, but if if I can be a positive influence because of how I attack my work then that, that's good. That's something I, I want to be a positive influence to myself and to the people that actually know me and know what I'm actually about. The people, people in, out in you know, the world, cyber world, they have no idea who I'm like, who I am, what I'm really like. But if, uh, 
if, uh, which I hear from time to time, if what I do and how I do it can help inspire people to do what they want to do, then yeah, uh, that's, that's cool, I like that. I think in terms of black people telling stories, I think, um, I think we should just shoot to tell quality stories and not necessarily worry about telling black stories. I mean, if you're, if you're a black person and you're telling a story, obviously it has, um, has relevance to, you know, the black community. Um, and the community in general. You know, I, I don't think that we should try to go out and tell um, specifically black stories. And again, I'm not against that as well. But I think if, you, if you're telling good stories, you're a good writer, good director, good actor, and you happen to be black, then that will bleed into the black community. And that, but that's true if you're a lawyer, if you're a doctor, if you're, and you happen to be black. That's, uh, that's, just, that's just good for the black community as a whole. A Fool and His Money by David E. Talbert is something I've never done before. It's a, it's a, a stage play that was filmed. So we took seven days to rehearse it. And then, uh, and then the cameras came in and we shot it. So we, we basically did the play and the cameras rolled. And it was something I've never done before, and also I'm not really <laughs> I'm not really known for doing comedy, uh, so it was it was a lot of fun for me to do that. And I had worked with David on um, a film called First Sunday with uh, Ice Cube, and that was fun, you know. So uh, I I like working with people that not only um, are trying to tell good stories, but also are fun to be with you know when you're on a set or um, in the theater you know if 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 it feels uh, like work if it feels lab you know laborious you know if it's so you know such a downer part of being on the set is just enjoying the fact that you get to do what you get to do you know, and uh, and you get to do it with good people, and, and David Talbert is uh, one of those people. Right now, I'm doing a Hallmark movie of the week um, with uh, Eric LaSalle is directing, and my friend Eddie Cibrian is also in it. And I'm in a film, uh, Sparkle, that's coming out, and uh, that was fun. Um, and in November, I, a film called Red Dawn, and then in January, a film called uh, Broken City with Mark Wahlberg and Russell Crowe and Catherine Zeta-Jones is in it. Uh, I do a little bit in that. And Jeffrey Wright is in it, and that, he was fun to work with. Another uh, actor I, I respect, you know, I like his work a lot. Um, so, you know, I'm just out there trying to, trying to keep it going. <laughs>